so here we go off screen I've been programming and That is it. Uh, Five thousand on the screen sprite editor. That allows certain things to happen. Let me see. I'm gonna redefine this other sprite. And so. On MSX computers. This is MSX version 1, by the way. The sprite string variable name appears to be dimensioned, is reserved by the basic, and that's how you define sprites. And Let's see, let's say your sprite is eight by eight, then that means it's gonna take up eight bytes. And so the next sprite has to jump over those eight bytes. And so that's where the other one will begin. And so like sprite number three will be at index 16, sprite four, index 24, and so on, and so on, and so on. So. That's going to make the the sprite on the right. It's going to redefine it. Okay, so this program comes in two parts. The first part is that, and the program's not running. All it did was clear the screen and put up this little make-believe grid, and now. I can edit it. It doesn't matter what character you type as long as it's not a space. You can actually draw what your sprite will look like instead of trying to figure out the, uh, the bits and the bots. That takes longer to do. Cursor keys, uh oh. Yeah, the keyboard is not always acting like it should. That might be my programming on the Arduino. I don't know. But anyway, after you draw your sprite, you go down here, cursor down to go to 5100. Do that. And it redefines the sprite. And it lists a data statement. I'm going to make that 810. And see, that's the cool thing about this. Any of the computers uh, basics had, that had on-screen or full-screen editing, you could do stuff like this. So you could just now that I entered that 8010 line it's in memory, okay. So you could do this on the Atari 8 bits, the Commodore 8 bits, the uh, apparently MSX computers, and that was a very useful thing. So if you wrote your own software, it would allow you to to, to really quickly create more software because you could actually have the computer help you create it like we did just there, you know. So I'm gonna save this program while I'm thinking about it. And saving, I did have uh, the emulator lose on my files. So, you know, this is really just like back in the 80s, Sometimes you'd say stuff and it wouldn't be there later on. <laughs> so 
it's, it's hit and miss like it was back then apparently who knew you know but anyway so that's the sprout editor I'm going to list it to where you can copy it off the screen if you so desire Thousand through one fifty, maybe. Yeah, that works. You know, so you can see what's going on there. And let me move that up one so you can see. That's line fifty twenty. Let me see, and then I'll list the rest of it. Which is just that. That's the end of it. With a couple of data statement lines from the sprouts I redefined. So now that I have this character editor, or sprout designer actually, then I can go on to, to make the game. So that will then be the next episode. Thanks for watching. Give it a, a like if, uh, if you like it. Talk to you later.